As an alumni of Whittier College, I'm very proud to have uh, called Whittier College my home for my undergraduate work. However, how many times have you been walking through Whittier and everyone asks, I thought Whittier College was a junior college, right? This is a top liberal arts university in the United States, but we rarely prioritize that when it comes to city politics. So I think we need to figure out a way to cohese, put together the city of Whittier and Whittier College somehow, whether that be through internships, apprenticeships, anything that we can that brings both entities together i think we'd be greater served if we could do that so it's one of my big key points is that we push forward in making those two wonderful entities we put them together and we make good on our promises to our citizens our woodier rights and all those students here because reality is they're full of knowledge and we need to tap into those resources now so we can make a better future for our city so let's do this and let's see what we can do when you think about towns you think of usc and los angeles you also think of Claremont, Claremont Colleges. These towns are all specifically focused on the university, right? And so like I said, one of the goals is to get Whittier College and Whittier to work together so that way Whittier can become a college town. And what that means is that there's a lot of local support coming in. Not only events, but students are actually going into the city. They're spending money, they're enjoying themselves, right? And the only way they do that is if there's a cohesive network together, especially on alumni weekends, homecoming, graduation. We could have parents come into the town and they will spend, they'll invest in the local economy. So as we get pushing that forward more, we're gonna see more of a development for the city and it's gonna be better for everyone. So I think we need to focus on that and push those two elements together and grow organically into the future. Whittier College has all the big sports. We have football, baseball, softball, tennis, lacrosse, water polo, swimming, you name it, we have it. So I think if we have a better cohesive bond between the city of Whittier and Whittier College, we'll start to see more patrons coming out to the events. And who benefits from that? Youth, sport, participants, and parents. One of the things we're talking about the development of Whittier is we're seeing old buildings like this, one of the oldest buildings in Whittier, Wardman and Gymnasium on the Whittier College campus. And we're also seeing brand new buildings like the Science Center, right? So how do we put these two developments together and start working on these? And how do we make this look like a beautiful town? I think Whittier College is a prime example of what we need to be shooting for, where we have the old and we have the new and we pair them together. And then we also need to start looking and thinking, like the Science Center here, how can we put that with the city? How can we have some STEM programs tied in with the library that use Whittier College and all the talent that we have here and force them together? I think our students and our individuals and life in general would better be serviced from a STEM program that we could pull together from both sources. As I was saying in the second debate um, for the League of Women Voters, you heard me say that I think we should be switching towards sustainable energy and in order to get that, I think we need to preserve our environment. And one of those big things is, for me, is drought tolerant landscaping. And I think the city of Woodyard needs to take a leadership role in that. But if you look at Woodyard College right now, they're clearly in the process of redoing their landscape to being more drought tolerant. And if you look at that, you'll start seeing things like this. It may not be that lush grass that we're looking for, that European style concept, but it still is pretty. It is still beautiful. And in the long run, it's actually gonna cut down costs on our back end and I think our city will be better for it and reality is we're going to be in droughts coming in the future so we have to start thinking positively moving into the future about what we do to change those things but I think it's okay for us to move away from the grass the beautiful stuff that takes a lot of money and resources into more drought tolerant things and Woodyard College right now is a prime example of leading us into the future so I think the city should really take note of this and we should start pushing this with all the projects.